everybody, I'm James Cebalski. Welcome back to EA Sports Hockey Ultimate Team Showdown. It's about to go down. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Islanders take possession here on the opening draw. We are underway. And he loses control here. Turned on way on the wraparound. Oh, what a great reactionary stop there. Reactionary is right, James. He knew exactly where the shoot was. They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it. With it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Barry's hooping in on the attack. Here he is, takes the shot, and that carries off a body in traffic. Sends it to the middle, and it scores! What an opportunity, and delivers! Lots of time left in this period. The Islanders have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Vancouver's got possession at center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Into the corner of the attacking area. Drives to the paint. Off the glove and the puck skips away. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. And he takes a shot. Misses over the net. Too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Puck picked up by Eichel. What pressure here in the offensive end. They got the puck in the offensive end. Vancouver's got it across the line. My word, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. Here's a shot. There's the save. They are really putting on the heat in the Ozone. And the defensive team's got it now. Moving with it here in the offensive end. Wilson's got the puck. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Takes control of the puck. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. All the officials were all over that trip. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Here comes the call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Our first look tonight at the power play unit. And now it's grabbed by Dali. Denies the shooter on that play. He's got a little jump. Great save! Quick pass over to Panarin. The crowd pushing for them to shoot before the clock expires. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. James, they didn't create any offense, they didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Kucherov's got it into offensive territory. Blocked in traffic. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Taken by Clark. Quick feed to Barry. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Pellet. 
And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Moves it to Pellick. Sends the pass over. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Skates to the crease. And he opts to wait for more support. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Reeves. Quick pass to Nelson. Receives the pass. Taken along the wall by Hyman. And that one's turned away. Works it across to Connor. Beautiful 360 with the puck. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. The Islanders have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. The Canucks win that offensive zone faceoff. The Islanders get a hold of the puck. Sends a pass over. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Slides it up front. Vancouver's got the puck now. Here's a short pass to Fox. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. I always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Vancouver's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Puck grabbed by Ryan. Takes a shot. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Oh, and the buzzer, a big save. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go, third period is underway. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Vancouver is trailing in the game here in the third period, James, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort or not buying into the game plan. I feel like they've been urgent, they've been skating well, and of course they dominated possession time. It's just a matter of having it translate to offense on the scoreboard. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. And there's the save. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Poked away by Pellick. Quick feed to Barry. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Shot! And he easily stops that one. Directed over to Kucherov. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the sentence. Makar is off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. The Islanders get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Point-to-point pass. Here's a chance. Off the post. And he comes up big again. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. Looks to pass it to Mayfield. Takes the pass. Great heads-up play with the stick by Connor. Gets his stick on it. The Canucks have it now. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. The pass to Reeves. And the D comes up with it. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. To the front. Right on the doorstep. Denies him in close. 
And that's broken up by Kuzmenko. Works the puck across the line. Sends it to the middle. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Vancouver's got possession here in the offensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. Score! Said better late than never play. Yeah, James, sometimes it feels like you're never going to put one in. It could be the ocean and you'd miss it, but they get one late in the game. And hey, sometimes when the floodgates open, many come. Oh, he's had an incredible game and just made so many beautiful saves. I'd, I'd be angry at the structure here as they've given up some opportunities late and the shutout is lost. Puck scooped up by Dolly. Shot! Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Up along the wing. Picked up along the boards by Brat. Bertuzzi's got it along the wing. Long jam in front, that's broken up. And he denied him there. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Let's see what the official... We'll start off on the attack after winning the draw. Shuts him down. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. Well, they seem to be dominated in the possession department, and yet they clearly maximize their opportunities to come away with the win tonight, Cheryl. Uh, and sometimes that's what the game is about, right, James? You have to find a way to cash in on your opportunities. They did it tonight, and that's why they get the victory. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.